Hello everybody and welcome to Tech in 5 Minutes. Today we are talking about software quality. Watch this video to know the best practices of maintaining the software quality that the Jelvix team follows during product development for our customers. On our channel, we share thoughts on recent developments in the tech industry. Subscribe to never miss new videos. Let's start. We need to measure quality to check if the software solution satisfies its requirements. The requirements can be classified as functional or non-functional. Read our comparison of functional versus non-functional requirements for more details. The link is in the description box. Let's now review the major types of software quality metrics. The first group is product quality metrics. They regulate how the software should perform, both from the client and server sides. And this group includes such components as reliability, performance, security, and maintainability. The second group is code quality metrics. How would you check the quality of code? Share your thoughts in the comments section. In fact, it is difficult to create code quality metrics. Still, we at Jelvix think that good code written according to the coding standards is readable, reusable, and well-documented. So, the criteria for measuring code quality include number of lines, static code analysis, software complexity metrics, as complex code is more difficult to maintain, testability, portability, and reusability. Now, we are coming to the important question, how to measure software quality and maintain it. It is always easier to prevent the issues by releasing high-quality software than to deal with the errors that come out after the release. So, keep watching to know about the practices the Jelvix team uses for delivering high-quality software solutions. Among development best practices are Static Code Analysis. It examines the code without launching it and checks it according to the coding standards. P2P Reviews. We use Git and Bitbucket for version control and remote repository management. When the feature is completed, the teammates act as code reviewers. Finally, we conduct reviews by senior or lead developers. So, what are the main software test metrics we use? Mean time to detect. These metrics show how much time it will take to discover the issue. Mean time to repair. It shows how much time the organization will need to fix the issue. Test reliability refers to the percentage of tests that provide helpful feedback. Code coverage is percentage of the code base that has been covered by testing. Test coverage. This metric helps make sure that we use various types of tests to assess the product, not only unit tests. Escaped defects found shows the number of defects found in production. And the final metric is defect distribution. Here we assess the bugs according to different criteria, severity, area of the application, testing type, etc. Before we end this video, we'll share Jelvix's best practices for improving the code quality. First, use a coding standard. It makes sure everyone uses the same coding style, improves the consistency and readability of the code. Next, commenting and documenting help other developers understand your code better. Next, file and folder organization. Next practice we use is manual code review. And finally, refractor legacy code, as it will help to clean up the application code and make it easier to maintain. Will you add anything to our list? Share your thoughts in the comments. This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. Jelvix helps top brands worldwide to innovate and accelerate digital transformation. We provide world-class enterprise software engineering, design, and technology consulting services. Find our contact details in the description box. Thank you for watching this video. We share the latest news about tech trends and innovations. So make sure to subscribe to never miss a single video. And don't forget to press the bell button. Bye for now.